Waterfront Park in Mombasa have opposed the terms by local politicians to turn the tourist historic site into a hawking zone. The park sitting on 26 acres overlooking the Kilindini Channel has since 2019 been transformed into an integrated urban tourist attraction facility. There is however a push by a section of politicians in Mombasa to allow hawkers into the park in what locals have termed as a political gimmick. Speaking to Channel One, presidency, unregulated business and other public activities would affect the aesthetic value of the iconic seaside park that was recently renovated and redeveloped by the government at a cost of 460 million shillings. Fahari, Bustani ya Fahari katika Mombasa na vile vile pwani nzima kwa jumla. But sio tu Kenya eh, pwani peke yake bali hata eh, Kenya mzima kwa sababu tunapata wageni ambao kila siku wanaingia na kutoka na kufurahia bustani hii. The Mama Ngina Waterfront Park, formerly the Mama Ngina Drive, a seafront open public space, has been a popular destination for foreign and local tourists over the years. Recently, the Ministry of ICT, Innovation and Youth Affairs connected the park to the internet, turning it into a public Wi-Fi zone. Vile tunajumba ambalo lina, lina, lina kusudiwa kuwa la kitamaduni, jumba ambalo litakuwa linaweza kuchukua tamaduni za Kiswahili watu waweza kuelewa haswa eh, historia na, na utamaduni kamili wa Kiswahili National Coordinator of Mamangina Waterfront Park Ali Nur says the project was designed to support tourism activities and not a business center noting allowing hawkers would potentially degrade the appeal of the park as a tourist site Rehema Hamisi says the waterfront is an open space which acts as a recreation spot for locals Nimefurahi kufika hapa eneo kama hili kuwa ni sehemu nzuri kuleta watoto pia tufurahi kulivotengezwa kondoloa kwa mahoka hakuna tena kusumbuliwa jambo limetufurahisha on weekends, the facility gives a platform to food vendors, showcasing different kinds of coastal delicacies, making it a culinary delight that is attracting both local and international visitors who are thronging the venue to sample the delicacies. Caroline Kamar reporting for Lunchtime News.